guys, we have an experiment. These are necessary. These. We're the perfect pajamas to pick. So, before I introduce today's video, welcome back to Draw DIY Design. Before watching this amazing video, you always know it's gonna be good if you click on Draw DIY Design. So give me a like, give me a big thumbs up if you love cats, and subscribe for that awesome, awesome party. Now, let's get to it. Here's your video. Bye. Wait, but first I have to brush my hair. One second. That was for sure record time. Now let's get started. Now we're finally ready. So. So, for the past few months, as you might, may or may, may not, may or may not know, our cat Lola went missing. We didn't know what happened to her for like a while, like two months. We called for her, we looked for her, we even went down to like the creek and called for her to see if she had got hurt and died. We didn't find anything, thank gosh. Thank goodness, but, and I was upset because this would be my first ever Christmas without a cat. And a while back, August, a really stray gray cat, a really stray, a really skinny gray cat came. So we thought it was a stray. So we gave it, we, we saw it a bunch. She was friendly. She was nice. It's a girl, by the way. She was friendly, she was kind, she's like, she's a really cute cat. Well, we didn't see her for a long, long time. Well, on Saturday, me and my mom leaf blowed, and we blow, we used the leaf blower and rake, raked leaves all day long. Well, I went to finally take off the tennis shoes and put on my slippers when the garage was open, and I saw a cat run through and I went and got mom and I was like mom there's a cat in the garage and she's like I bet Sylvia and yeah that's that's the name we named our show cat so she came back to me on Saturday and then we took an executive decision and decided that we were going to try to adopt her so the first step for that since we're pretty sure she's been an outdoor cat her entire life She's a gray cat with a white underbelly, and then she has half gray, half white feet, and then one foot's just all gray, or maybe it's all white. I don't know. She's really cute. She's really friendly. She, but I think maybe she's like a book called Six Dinner Sid. She just goes from place to place to get food, but she doesn't really have a home, but she's not really starved to death either, if you know what I mean. Well, sorry. <laughs> Her wings fell off. Well, um, so we had the decision that we decided we were going to adopt her. So we're going to be taking her to the vet because we're pretty sure she has some like things that we have to remove her so she can't have, we have to make sure she, we have to have something removed so she can't have kittens. We have to get a litter box and train her. So tonight, here's the challenge. Stay trapped in the garage and use the litter box correctly. Pretty simple, right? This is going to be the first thing where we check on her and talk about Sylvia and facts about her just in case she was your cat. But, and tomorrow morning, I'm going to post an update. I'm, I have to get up for school early, so if the video is posted at like 7 or 8, don't be like, what? She's up early. Just from school. Just school. So, I'm going to go down and check on her. I might have my dad come because she's obsessed with running into the house like she owns the place. <laughs> so, we got to be careful she doesn't get upstairs. So, let's go. 
what she said. Let's get her wings on. These two are coming with me. Let's go. Tomorrow morning, you'll either see the aftermath of a disaster or a well trained, potty trained cat. We'll have to see. It's all, and this is not Can Sylvia all. stay in there for 24 hours? Hours, 24 hours. She make it. We'll have to see. This is so gonna be We fun. are going to head downstairs. I just gotta grab my dad real quick. See, we left her with water. Obviously, water and food. I mean, can't starve the poor thing. She's really nice. She's really friendly. She's probably feeling a little mad at us right now. I can hear her from downstairs. Listen, Sylvia! Oh. Poor broken. Did you hear her? Like last, yesterday we had to go in really quick to have lunch. And the whole entire time she stared at us at the window and was like, meow, meow. I felt so bad. I felt so bad doing this, but not like I have much of a choice if we don't want her to use the bathroom in the house. So yes, that's Sylvia. She's definitely, we're pretty sure she's a girl. She's nice, she's friendly. She's not too skinny anymore. She's in, she's in pretty good shape. She's a good little, she's a good cat. She has a little bold spot right here. So if that's your cat, if that's your cat, please write in the comments because I would hate to be stealing someone's cat. But the, we talked to the vet and she said that would be the right thing to do is to take her in because we have no idea. And there's been coyotes in our neighborhood, so obviously the poor little thing, we, we need her to be in. And it's, it's gonna be getting cold soon. Hopefully this dumb summer in November will be over. I hate Indian summers, <laughs> hate them. Summer's for summer, winter's for winter. Snow is for autumn and winter. Yeah, but you get my opinion. So yeah, we'll just, I'll check in with you guys tomorrow morning as soon as I get up and we'll see how Miss Sylvia did. I think.
think she will do, I'm not sure. I don't know what to expect. I hope she'll be okay. I hope she didn't have accidents downstairs. I think, I'm not sure. We'll all have to wait and see. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll check in with you tomorrow morning as soon as I can so we can check on Miss Sylvia and see is she potty trained? Did she use a litter box or is our garage a mess? Maybe you don't want to see, but, but I, I don't think any, I don't, I don't know. I really don't know what to expect. So we'll just have to roll with it and see what happens. I'd rather it happen in the garage than on my brand new carpet. Well, it's from March, but still not the, not the oldest, not the oldest carpet in the world. Poor thing in her sympathetic meow, you're like, wow. And let us know, are we doing the right thing? We don't want to trap her in the garage, but we have to train her that when she's stuck in the house, you know, litter box. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just know that we're training her to potty be, be able to go in her litter box and not on our furniture or bed or anything. And we're also going to have to put a sheet on the couch and get her a claw thing because she has claws. Lola got her claws removed because that was before it was like illegal. So yeah, now we have to deal with that, but it's so totally worth it. We love Sylvia and every little bit of her. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy your evening. Bye. This is Draw DIY Design signing out. Meow. Bye. <laughs> Good girl! Sylvia, no, eh?